Hey, you. <sighs> yeah, you loser. Do you have a hard time getting girls? Is your shot broke as fuck? Do you get curved on an everyday basis? Well, we're here to help. <laughs> oh, ugly ass. Hey, Laura, I'm Steve, head ass. Second to three, head ass. Old Bill Cosby ass. 99 pounds, but a girl ain't one, head ass. I don't see nothing wrong. Yo, what's good? It's your boy, Freddy Suave. Bang, bang. It's your boy, Nate. And this is Everyday Every day Finesse. finesse. Ah. As you can see from the title of the video, we say this all the time, but as you can see, um, y'all need some help. Last time we did this, we did it for the, the girls, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We told them what we can't and won't deal with. Mm -hmm. This time, we're about to switch it up. 10 things we can do, the guys can do, so you know, get a girl, you know what I mean? Add the juice, whatever you want to say, it's all the same thing. Get the drip, the sauce. Yeah, you know so like the other video, I got five things, Nate has five things, and uh, we're just gonna, you know, rattle them off. I don't know exactly everything that Nate has, but I'm sure some will overlap, but we'll just talk about that later. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so, you know, got the iPhones. <clears throat> so the number one thing on my list, and I think the number one thing on uh, Nate's list, um, but I think 80% of anything with dealing with like girls and like making them like you or whatever you want to call it, um, deals with confidence. Confidence is key. It's 90, 80% of the work, to be honest. What do you think about that? I definitely say 80% of the work. Honestly, for me, it's like 85% of the work mm -hmm. for me because I feel as though like if you step in a room, that first impression is everything. Mm -hmm. So you can't be like no scared little boy yeah. talking about some, oh, I want to go talk to her, but I'm going to get my man to yeah. go talk to her. Like, nah, bro. Imagine, like, yeah. just like, think about it, Like, how can, how can like a girl even like respect you, let alone, you know, like you back? I feel like you have any confidence in yourself that you can, you know, follow or you can like get her, you can do whatever you want to do. You know what I mean? Fellas, it says a lot for you to actually go to mm -hmm. a girl and actually state what you want. Yeah, definitely. Like right then and there. Mm -hmm. Like, these girls will tell you they like you to mm -hmm. say this and say that and sugarcoat this mm -hmm. and you know. The, the realest way to get these females is just by going up to them and saying, hey. <laughs> Simple. Don't do it like you that, though, because that's kind of creepy. And, and this is the way to think about it, for real. If you think about it, like, that, like, there might be a girl that you really, really like, right? But let's just put it, let's just put it, like, straight on paper, for real. Like, there are millions of girls out there. So if one girl doesn't like you or doesn't like want you stuff like that, move on. There's there's you know millions of girls. Like out my man Gucci Man said, he said the best. Mm. Girls are like buses. Miss one, next fifteen ones coming. That's actually facts. That's actually facts. That's, that's just what it is. And, like, you know, and you know what? what another thing to say too. Like I know everybody has had this experience. I know, but and I know you have one of them in your schools too. But think about high school, right? Everybody has this in their high school. There's always that one ugly dude, right? That has one of the baddest girls in the school. The baddest. And you just be like, how did you pull that? And you're like, I ain't shit. What like? Is something wrong with me? To be honest, <laughs> like what? <laughs> to be honest, like this, it's in every school. Trust me, and it's because of confidence and a lot, a lot of other factors that we're gonna get to. But they're confident in themselves. Like they have no doubt in themselves that they can get that girl. And you have, you, you, you mm -hmm. ain't got nothing but to respect it. Like That's you can't do nothing but respect. Every, everybody's scared. Like hey, I, I'm right. scared when I talk to a beautiful female too. But like you know, what I mean, it should have stopped you from you know doing it. I'm so, not gonna lie, I'm not scared. I mean. <laughs> But yeah. it, it depends. It depends. Like, it depends. It depends. If it's yeah. It's like, what, 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 what I'm saying, like, 
what's her tax bracket? Like? <laughs> oh, you know nah, what I'm saying? Nah. Like, how many, how many zeros she got in her bank uh, account? Right. Like, yeah, can I afford to talk to this girl? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's that's definitely number one for me. So number one, confidence. All right, so number two is on me. Mm. And y'all know how I do. Mm. Yeah, come with the facts. The facts. What is it, yo? <laughs> oh, what is it? Charisma and chill. Now, when I say that, I mean by this. Uh -huh. You're talking to a girl, right? Mm -hmm. There's different ways to tell, like, what type of girl you're, you're talking to. Mm -hmm. If you're talking to a girl and she's giving the vibe off, like, yeah, like, uh huh. Yeah, she's smiling and she's nodding her head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> nine times out of ten. Uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you don't want to deal with her, right? Yeah. So this, the charisma is what I call the bounce back. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, all right, the conversation is getting kind of dry. It's getting dry. Oh man, you no know saying get crazy. Like you just you find something to talk about something and make the conversation full of life. Mm -hmm. Whereas on the vice versa end of that, when you're talking to a girl, most 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 of the time, if not all the time, and some of you agree with this, mm -hmm. it's the best way to like approach a girl, you can have charisma, but you just gotta be chill about it. Mm -hmm. Like you can't you can't come off too strong. Yeah. Like and most of the time with these girls, they are looking for that guy that's like chill he's in the cut he's not mm -hmm. doing too much you know what i'm saying you know basically level it out level yeah. it out for yourself you know what i'm saying yeah. and everything will work out mm -hmm. you know and like his uh the the whole like chris man like being dry things actually goes on one of the things that i have on my list it's just um you know don't be boring you know i mean that's girls hate boring people trust me trust me look and like and like just don't be boring like i've had multiple times like me personally like i'm just a very chill individual so like sometimes like some of my, my mannerisms or something like that might come off like i don't care or, like boring and stuff like that so i have to like make sure like i'm trying like a little bit extra hard so like uh you know make sure i'm talking a lot or like getting their attention because as soon as a girl's bored she's looking anywhere else trust trust that's just facts even for you you don't want someone that's like dry like as a guy yeah, either, like, like for me like even uh, i'm texting mm -hmm. texting texting a dry girl bro i can't uh, i can't like, hold you on that i'm not that good of a texas so i might be texting you more i'm sorry girls girls are weird but they will forgive you for a whole rack of stuff they'll mm -hmm. forgive you for cheating they'll forgive you for hurting your feelings they'll forgive you for saying what are you doing? Wow, shit. Look, there's some uh -huh. girls out there that do uh -huh. that. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't deny uh -huh. it. There's stupid girls that get cheated mm -hmm. on every day. But, uh -huh. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, well, one, the one thing girls will never forgive you for is being boring. Yeah. He was so dry. Oh my god. Dude, we talked about this already last time. I'm night. dropping about, heads. I'm about, dropping about heads. Group, about group chats and with it. I've been talking in the group chats about everybody. Trust, it happens. All right, number two on my list is the approach. All right, so we we both have different. This is this is different for everybody. You know what I mean? Um, but to have, I mean, some people can like, you know, what I mean, wing it. But you know, for uh, someone, I mean, if you're watching this video and you have a problem, you know, what I mean, then this is probably best for you. So have a plan when you're going up and you're trying to talk to somebody, right? So th this is one of the biggest things in the first two seconds right in the first two seconds of you approaching a girl they've already they've already looked you up and down and decided Ooh, they've, yes. all, they've already decided yes. whether they want to talk to you or not whether yes. they find you attractive they see anything going in those little bit of seconds they've they've already decided if it's you don't like he said it ties into that's everything that ties into the first saying. impression if they don't want you or they don't think you're attractive that's it's really it like you can try to like be funny as the dad and do the thing and you might get the number but most likely you know what i mean yes yeah, what i'm saying that's but if they think <laughs> That you're you're attractive and they would talk to you. It doesn't really matter what you say at this point. They they want to talk to you. So unless you say something horrible to ruin the experience, they're gonna they're gonna give you a number. Unless they're like you know talking to somebody or something like that. But personally, like like I said, like I'm super chill. Like I'm not like a, a super conversationalist when I first like meet a girl because I don't I don't have anything in common with her or at least I don't know about her like that. So 
usually like I try to you know most people. Mm -hmm, I try to keep it short and sweet. So like my like my conversation going up to somebody it doesn't have to be anything that's super scary. It's literally consists of this, and I'm giving away my my secrets right here. But this is how this is how this is how a regular conversation when I decide to approach you know a girl you know happens, which doesn't happen a lot because like anybody who knows me knows that I don't really I really He's don't. He's not really the talkative type. To, to, to at approach, all. I don't, I'm not the type to really approach girls like that, but this is this is how it is, right? So like I go up, you know. Hey, uh, you know, you know, say that you, you saw them from over there. It doesn't matter what you say, you know, just introduce yourself. Hey, um, you know, I seen you from over there and you know, I just thought you were, you know, you were beautiful, you know what I mean? Girls love compliments, throw them a compliment immediately. A lot of people like to, you know, you know, compliment their shoes and all the other stuff. I say the basics here, you know what I mean? I thought you were beautiful, you know, da 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 da. -da. Then ask them a few like filler questions. Uh, oh, you know, you're from around here. Oh, you go to school. What are you doing around? You know what I mean? Like, cause they might be rushing too. So you want to kind of hurry that up. And then you like hit them, you know, for the, for the closer. I'm usually like, you know, I'm just here with my friend, you know, we're actually about to head out, but I saw you, I had to talk to you. Um, you know, maybe <laughs> if you want to, you know, go out sometime. Girl, girls would love if you try already insinuating that you're trying to take them out. Cause a lot of guys, like I've talked to girls, a lot of guys just want to go over and smash and stuff like that. So go up to them like, hey, you know, uh, you know, you want to go out sometime. It'd be nice. I'd love to take you out to eat or listen to some that. Get it. So can I have your number? They're going to give you the number. You text them. And then it's all up to you as a bet. So that's the approach. That's, I'm yeah. the best at winging stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. For my guys that's winging it. It's just it's one thing you gotta remember. It is one thing you gotta remember. Do not at any 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 at any at all costs. Mm -hmm. Don't let the conversation die. <laughs> Do not that's why that ties up. into mm -hmm. the other job, yeah. which means don't be boring. Mm -hmm. And you, you gotta come up with Confidence. So confidence. All it all, it, trust, yo, trust, it all yeah. ties into everything. Like, y'all gotta in. listen to what we're saying. In. It ties into everything, mm -hmm. and yeah, just winging it. It's just like, like you just, you just, you gotta be original. Mm -hmm. That's the number one thing with winging it. You gotta be original. All right. So for my number, this is number four, complete. But for you, number two. Yeah. My number two. Mm -hmm. Cause I can't keep track of uh -huh. the number, right? but. Look, the girls are gonna say they don't care about this, mm -hmm. and I will disagree because I know y'all do. I talk, I, I got, I got hella friends who are girls, mm -hmm. and that's another thing, guys. Don't be afraid to have friends who are actually girls who you don't smash. Mm -hmm. Like, that's cool. But yeah, number one thing that girls really do look for in guys, but they won't ever admit that they do, mm -hmm. is clout. If you are well known, uh -huh. you are instantly ten times more attractive than the regular guy. It's just a simple fact. If I agree and disagree with that, John. But li yeah. Like, listen, uh -huh. if you're the guy, you're the guy that uh -huh. say you're the guy that you're, you're the chill guy, uh -huh. and you're at home. You know, you work, and you know, you do you. You live your life. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Girls like that. Like I said, girls like that chill, laid back, uh -huh. lay low type of guy. But if you're that same type of guy, but say you're hosting parties, mm -hmm. you're on YouTube, you're on social media, nine times out of 10, mm -hmm. the girl is gonna go for that guy. The chill guy that basically is well known and his life is like 10 times better. Mm -hmm. That's it. Like girls, girls really do look at that and they look at the excitement factor of your mm -hmm. life and it's like, okay, well, can I get with it, him and am I gonna be excited mm -hmm. or am I gonna be bored? Which ties mm -hmm. into everything yeah. else. Okay, no, no, okay. <laughs> no, okay, so I understand the last part of what you're saying. Like, definitely girls want to be, you know, excited and feel like, you know what I mean, you're doing a lot and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily think that, you know, clout has like super much to do with it. Like, because I know like on my like, college campus like I'm, I'm i'm a very well-known guy but at the same time i feel like sometimes like people will like it but then it might be like a turn off in some girls eyes. so girls are different so like some girls might be like oh you know he has a lot of girls that like him or or he like has all these girls on him like and some that's a turn off for a lot of girls as well so like cloud to an extent but doing stuff and you know being you know well known for you know being involved in a lot of things i'll give you that